look into my booktube. <laughs> Today I'm going to be doing the unboxing for the July Owl Crate. So I'll be going through all of the items I got with you. I already opened it and went through it myself, so I'm just going to be showing you what I got. So first, the theme for this month is a date with destiny. This pamphlet with an interview with the author, there's a crossword, and then an interview with one of the vendors from one of the items. I haven't missed the photo challenge. Thank God! I thought I was too late to do it. So it starts on the 19th and goes to the 25th, so I'll be participating in that because I need some inspiration for what to do on Instagram anyway. So the first item that we pull out looks so cool. It comes in this adorable bag and it's got stars and moons on it and you can see into it. You can tell it's going to be a fabric item, which I think is one of my favorite things. And so it's got this little tag. It says it is a Foxway Diner Apron. I just love this bag. I think I'm going to use it for something else too after this because it's just so cute. I don't know. I feel like it's very common for booktubers to love stars and moons, but here we are. So this is the apron. <laughs> I've never in my life had an apron so this is really exciting to me. I just think it's so cute. But at the top it has pancakes and predictions 300 Foxway Diner Henrietta Way and there's two pockets in the front right here that are pretty big if you want to put anything in it and then the cute trees and it says fate is a very weighty word to throw around before breakfast. So it's got the strap to go around and into the other side for the adjustable neck piece and then I'll just kind of hold up so you can slowly look through. It's from the Raven Cycle. Okay, I haven't read that yet, which tends to be a trend, but it I did haul them recently so those will be in one of my hauls that I'll go over with you, but yeah, I thought this was so charming. And then the other big item which I was super stoked about is a mug, a Harry Potter mug because this is the boy who lived. And it is so nice so it comes in this cute box and then it's bubble wrapped. And it is so cute, like look at this mug. adorable. It looks like one of those metal camping mugs is what the, the frame is like, but it's a ceramic mug and it is so charming. I love mugs. I love mugs. This one is my current favorite. Uh, it is not from a book box. It just says my weekend is all booked and it's super cute and I got it on Etsy, but <laughs> this one's really cute too. I can never have too many mugs. That is an item that I will never complain about receiving. And then it came with this adorable Riddles Tea Shop tea. And this one is Alcrate Exclusive Simon Sour Cherry Scones Loose Leaf Tea Blend. And it says it's decaf on the back. And that... I also love tea. So the next item we got is this super cute tin of paper clips. And on the front it says hope is the only thing stronger than fear. And so this is from The Hunger Games. So that's what the lid looks like. And then the pins are all little arrows. So this is what they look like. And it's so cute! And then the other item that we had is from our book. And it says, Decide Your Fate. And it's got this cute star. And it's got two pins on the back. And then we go into our last item, which is the book. So it is The Goddess and the Machine by Laura Beth Johnson. So this book follows our main character, Andra, who has been put in a kryptonic sleep, and she's supposed to wake up in a hundred years, but ends up waking up in a thousand years. And I think she's on a ship because she ends up being on another planet, and the people on this planet find her and think that she's a goddess, and so they don't know how she's come to be here, and they start worshipping her, which means that she has a lot of influence on things that are going on on this planet and it sounds like there's this um there's this other character his name is Zaid and he's the exiled bastard prince and he's trying to get her to work with him to get his kingdom back 
but she just really wants to go home. She wants to find her way back to Earth. But yeah, she has no idea what planet on she's on. She has no idea how far she's gone, and she can't ask anyone else for help because everyone else, all of her family and friends, have died too. She's the only one that survived. So yeah, it sounds very intriguing. It sounds like there's also magic going on, so it sounds like it's a really cool cross with sci-fi and fantasy as well, which I really enjoyed in Gideon the Ninth, which I read recently. So this is the cover, and then the side, back. It's got gold edges, which I just love. I think that's so pretty. And then underneath it's pretty simple. It's this gorgeous purple with a star on the front, and that's it. But yeah, check out these gold pages. I love sprayed edges. I don't have very many books at all with sprayed edges, so I think this is beautiful. I was also thinking of jumping on board with everyone else who's been painting their pages lately. Like, I know Book Roast has been doing it a lot in her vlogs, and I think I'm going to give that a try, so that might happen in my vlog this week because I ordered some paint. And then, of course, after the book, we also have this letter from the author, so I'll do a overview of that in case you want to give it a look over too. But yeah, that's my unboxing. I hope you enjoyed it. I am going to put a little bit of one of my camping trips from July in here because this unboxing was also from July. I'm going to edit it and get that up, and then I need to start my vlog for this week because I am filming this this morning and then posting it as soon as I finish editing it today, so <laughs> wish me luck. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. Let me know what were your favorite items in here. I would have to say, oh, it's actually a really tough choice today because that apron is just, it's so charming. And then I love this mug. Like, this mug is so cute. The art on it is just precious. I don't know. Oh, I really like those. And then the book. The book sounds really intriguing. So... Yeah, hard to decide for me. But let me know what the favorite items for you would be. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you and have a great rest of your day. Bye.